Wow. <laughs> Ten of swords. So there's been an ending here. You stop putting in the effort into a connection is what I'm getting here. Wow. Something ended badly here. You could have felt very backstabbed, betrayed, cheated, lied to, or it was just something that had to happen. I think we're trying to resist an ending out here. You probably put in a lot of work on an individual level and you probably started suffering from a burnout, okay, because there was a lack of progress out here. And you started to become more distant emotionally, okay, and you started just losing interest in this connection here. But yeah, there was an ending here. What else? The Hamlet in reverse. Could be that someone wants to come back around. We'll see, I need to clarify that. What's the Hamlet in reverse? What's the Hamlet in reverse? This is someone here where things didn't work out with this person, right? This person wants to come back around here. Looks like this person here has a lot of positivity and hope and faith that things will work out between you both. This person could have kept, you know, in options or this person here was like, you know, keeping an open mind. They talk, they thought they had forever here to make a decision. But as someone, you know, who was just procrastinating a lot of indecision, what do they want, what do they not want, which is why things were moving forward here. But there's a lack of attention here. You're not giving someone the attention. Someone feels undervalued or unappreciated. Wheel of Fortune. Wow. This is the universe promising you a 180 degrees flip in your love life. In a very positive direction, of course. But yes. Um, things are going to change for you overnight is what I'm getting here. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, it looks like... Um, Someone's going to come out of isolation and talk. Yeah, this is someone here who's going to come out of isolation and talk. So the, whatever the silent treatment was, right? I told you, right? Someone wants to come back around. Someone who goes to you. Someone's going to come out of isolation and talk to you. This person's going to, um, you know, they've done, they've taken that break after this breakup. Okay. What's the ten of swords? Yeah, see, there was an ending here, right? So after this ending here, someone wants to come back around and talk to you. And um, things could have got really messy between you both, you know, is what I'm getting here. And um, they feel better now after this, pulling themselves back. They feel better and I think they're ready to talk to you. It was an unexpla un un unpleasant experience that they were going through. They were dealing with a lot of difficult emotions. Took a break and now they're ready to come back. Queen of Pentacles. If you're balanced here, you have found your balance after putting an end to this connection here is what I'm getting here. You're more balanced, thinking more practically, being more realistic, focusing on the people, nurturing people that you love and care. Could be your home, could be family, could be friends, could be your kids, whoever this is, right? But I'm feeling that this ending, closing of this chapter here, has done a lot more good to you than staying with this person or staying in this connection would have. You know, there's so much balance here, right? You're thinking correctly now. Not letting your emotions overpower you. What else? Cancer. Wow. You put an ending here. This person is not going to let you go. They're not changing. And um, so you know what happens. This person isolates themselves, right? What I'm getting here. They, they isolate themselves. But you isolate yourself in a way where, you know, you can learn something. You know, you get some wisdom. You gain some wisdom. Where it's like, you know what? I'm too old for this shit. I need to stop this. I need to take a break here. I need to get my shit together. This person out here probably goes into their nutshell in order to probably punish you. Or in a way where they just like don't want to think about what really happened. They just want to take some time out and then they want to get back doing the same shit. Okay. But yeah, they're watching you. They're watching you. They're not going to let you go. They, they refuse to let this go. They refuse to change. They're not resisting. They're resisting a lot of changes that need to be made in order for them to come towards you correctly or in order to make this relationship work better. Okay. 
magician in reverse. There's a lot of self-doubt coming from this person here. A lot of self-doubt. This person here probably, um, probably the way you are with them, right? Your approach towards them. This person is A, not being able to communicate with you effective, effectively. So I, effectively, so I feel that there's a lack of communication between you both. I feel this person here is probably quite a manipulator, okay? And um, too many miscommunications, too much and misunderstandings out here. They're still not planning what they need to do to achieve their goals, you know, which is like a very vital step in this connection out here. Three of Pentacles in reverse. See, this is, there's a lack of teamwork out here. There's a huge realization that one of you could have had. Okay, so there was a breakup here, a separation here. But I think after this, after you ended things, right, I think this person here is now going through like that harsh reality. I feel this person here is now, you know, awakening to that harsh reality between you both. There's like these heartbreaks out here. There are these sudden changes and emotional upheavals that this person's experiencing, okay? Like a shocking truth is what I'd say, okay, which has turned their, turned their world upside down here. That's what I'm getting here. Three of Wands. Yeah, see, this person wants to wait it out. They want to wait it out. They want to still uh, make those plans with you, okay? They're brainstorming. They're trying to think about what they can do next to come towards you the right way here. But uh, I feel that this person has made a choice to probably stick, stick around and not really let you go and not let this end here. But it's like they want to stay in this connection without changing themselves. So what happens is that they keep repeating the same cycle. Okay, the four of swords in reverse is telling me this person wants to have a conversation with you, but which is on the surface level. So like they'll come back towards you after the sending you, it's like, hey, what's up, you know, it's, you know, whatever. They won't really talk, talk about it. It's like the root, the crux of the, you know, of the issue is not being spoken about. It's being avoided is what I'm getting here. You're focusing on yourself. You don't really care about this person that much. You don't care, you really give a damn. I don't think you're taking the initiative to wanting to have a new beginning with this person here. Because first off, it starts with no commitment, no security. It's like, you know, on shaky ground. And you're like, why should I invest into this anymore or have any more cycles with this person out here when there is no commitment or no seriousness from this person's side? Nothing reverse. See, they're stressing. They're stressing about this. This person is having sleepless nights. This person could be in a real mess, a real mess. So much of anxiety, so much of nervousness. They're very nervous to approach you. They're very nervous now that you're shutting off the cycle with them, you know. They're constantly analyzing, overanalyzing, you know, worrying, you know. And that's keeping them up at night. And, uh, you know, the smallest detail, you know, is kind of fretting them about what the future will be if they let you go. The magician in reverse. Five of swords. They, they have trust issues here. They have trust issues here. This person's got to learn to trust here. They keep repeating the cycle. They keep sabotaging the connection here. You know, constantly afraid of what if you screw them over. It could be past issues here, okay? But they're dealing with a lot of conflicting thoughts and emotions, okay, about the situation, which is leading to them, you know, not taking action here. Okay, which is leading to a lot of self-doubt. You know that self-doubt syndrome? I can't make it happen, so I need to manipulate the situation here. That's what's happening here. This person refuses to make up their mind, you know. They keep, they'll keep coming back to you. That's what the truth is. They keep coming back to you. They, they are not the best at expressing themselves. They want it all with you. They want everything that you want with them. Commitment, marriage, etc. But they keep running away due to fear. They know it's the wrong direction to take, but they keep doing it. It's just how they're made. Three of Pentacles in the room. Hmm. See the Empress and Emperor here. This person wants to take control of the situation now. You know? This person probably thinks you're too much work or you're just hard work. You know, there's a lot that they need to learn about you and learn from you or whatever, right? But this person wants to build their vision with you. You know, they, they have a future vision with you. They want to build on a solid foundation and structure here. But they don't put in the effort. Mm. 
You don't put in that effort, you know, that is required, you know, to make it happen between you both here. You know, that key, the key goal is that commitment, you know, being practical, you know, that, that constant improvement, you know, they don't, probably they don't even value you. That's another thing I'm getting here. They don't value you. You feel unappreciated by this person here. But there's just absence of work here. There's a lack of teamwork here from their side. Which is reducing the quality of your connection. Okay. What else? What's the tower? <laughs> With this realization, now this person is first of all feeling very isolated. They don't feel good enough. They feel left out. They feel, um, you know, taking them back. They have abandonment issues here. But this tower here has made them think, you know, of wanting to balance it up with you. They now want structure is what I'm getting here. They want to, um, you know, they could be juggling you or whatever. But more than juggling, I'm getting this person here, you know, trying to um, multitask. Okay. And uh, they're trying to use their time management. They're trying to prioritize this connection here. Now after this tower moment here in order to you know, accomplish that goal with you is what I'm getting here. But they do feel very left out. They do feel very lonely. They want to bring balance to the connection here. But it's like, it's like it was so important for you to have this tower moment in order for them to realize that they needed to put in the work, the equal effort. Three of Wands, what's that? What's three of Wands? See, they're emotionally very, very imbalanced here. That's the biggest problem here that this person faces with you. This person has trust issues. This person doesn't open up. He's emotionally, they are emotionally unavailable. Um, you could be dealing with someone here who acts very immature when it comes to their emotions out of fear, out of getting hurt or out of resentment. They keep putting off the communication, you know, and they just let the situations fester, you know. They're not in their right state of mind here. They're very, they're very stubborn, you know. They refuse to change. Even when things are changing around them, even when things are changing around them, they probably refuse to change, you know. They refuse to open up emotionally is what I'm getting here, which just pisses you off, you know. They're not approaching the situation in a very mature and intelligent manner here. Instead, they're just being stubborn and putting things off here, you know, hoping you'll just go away. There's a lot of coping, you know, this person needs to do with negative emotions, you know. Or when things get intense, they just run away. But yeah, they're feeling very left out here. I feel here that with the Three of Wands and Five of Pentacles here, you're saying goodbye to them. You're ready to let this go. You're leaving the situation because it's just not changing. It's not changing here. I feel you're ready to, um, you know, uh, explore your options here. You're expanding your horizons. You're trying to see the bigger picture out here. And you're just preparing for what is to come. You're planning ahead here, but I think you're leaving the situation rather than sticking on with them. Okay? That's what I'm getting here with outcome here. You're letting it go because this person won't change. And even when they come back, right, they, they refuse to talk about it in a more mature way. Uh, getting into the details rather than just, you know, like talk about it and just get on with the conversation or just start with the relationship again or just a reconciliation. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.